Hey y'all, this is Amy Green from Amy and Art Designs and today I'm gonna show you how I make a bow with greenery and attach it to a door hanger. Make sure to hit the subscribe button and I'm so excited to show you how to do this. So let's get into it. Okay, so I'm using Pro Bow the Hand. I love this for bow making. Um, and the first thing I'm gonna do is measure out my tails and um, given that ribbon a good twist because I wanna keep my striped um, bow on the top. I've got two different kinds of ribbon here. I've got um, a burlap ribbon and then I've got a single sided black and white striped ribbon. Um, <clears throat> and I'm going to do um, four inch loops. So I've measured out my loops and every time that I um, make a loop I'm going to give it a good twist because for this bow I want to keep my striped ribbon on the top. Well, this is wired ribbon, which I think is really important for making a nice bow that holds its shape, especially if it's going to be hanging on a, on a door. Um, <clears throat> so you can see I'm kind of fiddling with it as it goes in there. If this is your first time ever making a bow, you might want to try um, one um, less stiff ribbon because the burlap can be kind of tricky to work with um, because it is so stiff. So again, giving it a good twist, making sure I've got the right length, and putting it down between those two dowel rods. Um, one of the things that's important to do is make sure that when you're doing two pieces of ribbon, you've got those um, pieces of ribbon um, right on top of each other. Because if the top one is off, then what's going to happen is your, your loops are going to be different lengths. And see it here, I'm checking myself because my, my ribbons weren't together and that loop was going to be the wrong size. So I'm giving it another good twist. And I'm going to get that right down in the middle of those dowels again. Okay, so I've got my loops. Now for this ribbon, you'll see in a second, I'm going to pull the, that piece of burlap down because for my center loop, I'm only going to use the striped ribbon. And I'm going to pull this um, bow all the way up to the top. And then I'm going to take that striped ribbon and I'm going to twist it back and around and all the way through. And I want to flip it so that the stripe stays up. And then if you can see, I've got a couple zip ties. I'm going to cinch it up with a zip tie after I take it off the bow maker. Now the important thing to think about here is you want to make sure to pinch all of that ribbon together when you pull it off the bow maker. And then when you get your zip tie around and through, you want to pull it about halfway. You don't want to pull it all the way because if you take this um, zip tie, I'm going to do right now, and you pull it all the way, what's going to happen is you're not going to be able to arrange your bow. When you pull that zip tie just tight enough to keep everything in place, you're going to be able to arrange your bow the way you want it before you tighten it all the way. So I'm just getting that zip tie in there. And now you see I'm going to flip it around and do a little bit of arranging before I cinch it all the way tight. I'm loving the way this looks. I love this striped ribbon and I like the burlap behind it. It's just, it's just a really fun looking bow. Um, and when I have it about how I want it, I'm going to cut cut um, the ribbon off. I'm not going to trim my tails until I get it on the um, door hanger. That's the last thing I'm going to do. Okay, so now I'm giving that zip tie, pulling it a little tighter. I'm going to pull it all the way now. And then I also use pliers just to give it a really good yank and get it as tight as it possibly can be so that that bow is not going to move. So there's my bow looking really cute there it's gonna look great with it so now i'm going to show you how i do my greenery um <clears throat> this is lamb's ear and i love this particular type of lamb's ear because it's a little fuzzy and it doesn't look like yellowy and overly fake so i like this for um my my especially my like farmhouse style door hangers it's, it's a lot of fun and so the one thing i want to encourage you to do is for a door hanger that piece of greenery if you think about it is going to lay completely flat and you want to turn all the leaves up so this is another bush and I love this look too because it it has a little bit of like powderiness to it so it's great for like farmhouse and it also doesn't look super fake. So I'm going to cut just one stem or two stems 
off the bush and now I've got my um, lamb's ear on top of my door hanger just kind of get an idea of how wide I want it to be keeping in mind that um, I'm gonna bend it a little bit so you can cut those stems down to size with your door hanger I mean with your door hanger gosh trouble with the words no with your wire cutters and you're gonna get a piece of floral wire and I'm just gonna wrap that around and so that it's nice and tight so you want them both facing up so that when you lay it flat again, those leaves are up. See, I'm giving it a little bend because it's going to kind of go with the roundness of the top of the door hanger. And now I'm going to lay my other greenery from that bush on top. Um, and again, do the same thing. I'm going to take a piece of floral wire once I get it how I want it. And trim the ends. And then I'll wrap it with that floral wire. Just right onto the lamb's ear. So I've got two layers of greenery, right? To give it some extra dimension, some extra visual interest. Um, I'll show you if that comes off, sometimes the greenery does come off. And I just, I just take it, I just, you couldn't see me, but I squirted it with a little bit of hot glue and then pop it right back on and then it'll stay in place. So don't worry about it if you lose a little stem. Okay, so now I'm wrapping this with floral wire, attaching the two together. And you want to make sure that it's on there um, really well because you want it to stay together and you don't want those greenery pieces to, to slip out. Um, so I wrap it around really well. Again, and when I get to the end, I want to just make sure that there's nothing sharp or pointy sticking out. I push them flush with the greenery and now I just like to kind of tuck that top piece and weave it in and out of the bottom piece so that it looks like it all belongs together. See how much different the left side looks after it's been you just kind of move the leaves around and make it look nice and natural. Okay give it another bend again so that it's going the direction you want it because you don't want it straight across the top of your door hanger. Okay now we're going to take another zip tie and we're going right through the middle of the bow and we're going to zip tie this onto your greenery. Now the, there's a little like square piece that you shove the zip tie through. I try and put that at the bottom so that it doesn't get in the way when I attach that the door hanger or the ribbon, the bow and the greenery, trouble with my words again to the door hanger. Again, pull it as tight as you can get it because you don't want that to um, come loose ever. That keeps it nice and secure. And then you can just cut the end of that zip tie off with your wire cutters. So yeah, I'm just checking it to make sure that it's exactly how I want it before I cut that off because once I cut it, it's done. Okay, now, again, you're going to have to manipulate it a little bit. You're going to have to bend your wire to get it exactly the way that you want it when you put it on your door hanger. But look how great that looks. It just looks like it all belongs together. Um, it's, it's just really, I bumped my camera. Well, it's just a really fun piece when you put it together. Okay, so now let's attach it to our door hanger. Oh, this is a door hanger I carry in my Etsy shop. I love this door hanger, it's so fun. One of my favorites. Um, so now I'm just kind of getting a feel for how it's gonna look on the door hanger. And you don't wanna skip this step. You don't wanna just slap it on there. You wanna give it, make sure you're bending the, the, um, the stems the way that you want them to go so that when you attach it on there, it's exactly how you want it. So I do a two-step attachment process. I put some hot glue um, right in the middle so that it's exactly where I want it to be before I start stapling. Because like once you staple, you're pretty committed. But I can get it on there with the, um, with the hot glue and if I need to scooch it, you know, half an inch one way or another, I can. But then, after that hot glue sets, 
I'm going to take my staple gun and I'm going to go in under the bow as far as I can get and staple that lamb's ear right down onto my door hanger. Okay. Yep. And there you go. And we're going to do the same thing. Um, I do it a couple times on each side to make sure it's really on there. And you just want to make sure that you're not going to smash your bow. You're not going to ruin your greenery. But you just want to get in there, um, staple it down. And I also um, am going to staple the bottom layer, so my burlap layer. If I only had one layer, I wouldn't do this. But since I have two layers of bows, I'm going to staple that burlap layer. I'm going to go as high as I can under the bow and staple that bottom layer down. Um, and y'all, here's why I don't cut my um, ribbons till the end, right? Because I want to cut the, the bow ends so that they're not too short and they're not too long. So I'm just kind of get all of my greenery in place. And you can see I'm weaving it in and out of there. Um, it just makes it look really nice and more like a floral arrangement than like two pieces of a greenery wired together on top of each other because that's really what you want you want it to just look really special all right y'all we are in the uh, tail end of this and we're going to tr uh, trim our ribbon tails um i'm going to do a fishtail cut on these and so for this you want to fold the ribbon in half like i just did and then you want to cut from the outside fold and up so I will tell you that with a patterned ribbon, sometimes I still have trouble seeing which way to cut. So the thing to know is if you've never cut a fishtail ribbon and you're not sure about how to do it, um, test it out on some ribbon first because the last thing that you want to do is cut the wrong way. See, look right here, I'm like, okay, I want to make sure I'm cutting the right way because if I cut the wrong way, my bow is shot. So it's really important that you start at the outside fold and cut up at a 45 degree angle. Um, and for me, I don't like my ribbon tails to hang down into my words. I try and get them a little bit above my words because I really like uh, people to be able to see the design of the sign. I know some people do like a little more um, ribbon tail going on, which is great. For me, I just like it a little shorter. So there you go. We've got our fishtails done. I am so glad you hung out with me today. Please make sure to um, like, share, and subscribe this video. And let me know in the comments what you thought. And I'd also love to hear what you'd like to see in the future. 